As a storyteller, musician, and songwriter, I've always looked for a project that engages me on all those levels. That project is Evangeline, the Queen of Make-Believe, which features the Los Lobos songbook as written by David Hidalgo and myself. Set in 1968, Evangeline is an East LA devoted daughter by day and a Hollywood go-go dancer by night. The backdrop is a socially important but yet seldom told story of the Chicano struggle for civil rights and equal education. David and I are committed to telling this story and are excited to expand the Evangeline project by performing in the touring production alongside an ensemble of actors and musicians and an amazing video design. Here's some excerpts from this groundbreaking work. Mom, you said you wanted an office job. That's why you've been practicing your typing. That's why I've been fixing yeah, your dress. No, yeah, no, Eva. But mom, what happened? Why? I typed too slow, Eva. La practica no vale nada. The, the phone, it has too many buttons. I'm no good at the cash register, que mas? And let me get a job. No, your daddy would be mad. How do you know that? How do you know he isn't mad at me for not getting it? Because if the father cannot provide, then the mother does. The mother becomes the father, the daughter becomes the mother. I see it. Keeper, all right? Haha, <laughs> but I am. I am your spiritual bro, your carnal of the soul, fellow traveler in the land of Aslan. See, there you go talking all that shit again. Aslan, Chicano, Chicanismo. Ah. You guys just sit around in your meetings making all that shit up, don't you? And not at all. These are words with deep meaning. You see, language is an art, a tool, a weapon, an agent of change. But you've got to learn the vocabulary and sometimes reinvent it. Walk out! to try and convince me to go to Vietnam. And you need more convincing? Well, it's a noble profession. Saving people's lives. I just don't think those lives should be there in the first place. Well, somebody has to do it. That's what the government will have you believe, but, but like Abby Hoffman says, art is the only thing worth fighting for. <laughs> 